Hello, sisters. I need help. Sisters, I've been dating my own blood brother for 11 years. And it started when our parents were away for a trip on, to the USA. I was 15 then, and my brother was 17. I was bathing one evening when I forgot my towel, so I asked him to get it for me. He opened the door and started to make advances towards me, telling me how curvy and how beautiful I had become all of a sudden. Before I know it, we were kissing. Our clothes went off and he joined me in the bathroom. We made love and that's when I lost my virginity. <coughs> After this, we started dating. We slept together in the same room for a month until our parents got back from their trip. Even then, once in a while, I managed to sneak, sneak into his room to have sex. We fell in love and managed to hide it from our parents and promised not to date any other person in our lives. Honestly, my brother is really handsome and any girl will surely want him. Fast forward, I am 26, working, while my brother is 28 and heading our dad's business. Everything was rosy until our parents started giving us pressure to get married and settle down. They started getting worried about how my brother had not even bothered to introduce a lady to them. I started getting more comfortable when my parents started to make these complaints. Some months ago, my brother managed to get a girlfriend he introduced to the family. I got so irritated and furious with him, and his response was, we can't do this forever. Mm -hmm. After sleeping with him for 11 years, this is the heartbreak I get. So I decided to get pregnant so I can keep him all to myself. Now I'm frustrated, and I don't know what to do. Ding, oh, ding, ding. She's pregnant now, or she's deciding, or she's, she's decided. I, she didn't state, but from what she says, she's hoping to get pregnant for him. But she's currently frustrated about how to proceed with everything. We really should pay attention to how our kids grow up, though, yeah. honestly. But I'm not even who to, show who to start know, with. Right? Rosie looks like she doesn't want to. Let me, let me come to you, Rosie. Let me start off with Whoa. you. I can't think. I can't process this. Yeah. Because um, no parent would, live, would leave siblings behind yes. and expect something like this to happen. Absolutely. And the best I can say is maybe the parents were not open to the kids, especially about sex education and things like that. Mm -hmm. And they were left to being curious about each other because mm -hmm. I don't know what would be so exciting at 17 to see your own sister's naked body taking a bath at 15, such that you needed to comment, to touch, to kiss, and even proceed to you know, to the fullest extent of intimacy. Mm -hmm. It means that you had a lot of unanswered questions in your head. Like, you, you were finding your own feet. I, I, I don't know how to explain this. Mm -hmm. And because now they're 26 and 28, that's like mm -hmm. so long ago. So 15 to 26, I'm looking at 11 years ago, yeah. So I'm thinking that 11 years ago, maybe his parents were not too open mm -hmm. about sex and sex education. And information was not as rampant mm -hmm. as it is now. So it was just two teenagers being curious about each other and this happened. And for it to happen for 11 years yes. and the parents still have no clue yes. that there's something off about how these two people are engaged. Yeah, because they are, they are siblings who love each other. Oh, mm. Come on, think about it. Mm. I mean, there's, there's something that should jump at you, something that isn't yeah. right. Yeah. So my problem is that I don't know how nobody picked on it and they've, yeah. they've kept this and uh, you know for so long mm -hmm. now the fact that they've kept it hidden for so long means that somewhere in their subconscious they know it isn't right mm -hmm. yeah but they couldn't help it and this whole thing about i gave him my virginity how am i going to explain to the next guy how i lost my virginity mm -hmm. Okay, my sister is there. He's not going to ask me to buy credits. Otherwise, she's leaving me. He's not going to say, do this. Otherwise, I'm leaving you. You have a natural form of bond for her already. Mm -hmm. See, she's easy to love. Mm -hmm. She's your sister. Okay, she can get pissed off each other. But hey, it's your sister. There's nothing you can do about it. So they just found an easy love to explore their teenage, you know, whatever it is. Mm -hmm. Now, the only way out of this is professional counseling. Mm -hmm. I tell you. Professional counseling. Professional. The reason I'm saying professional, I know some may subscribe to church counseling, but I think the only way out of this is proper conf um, professional counseling. Because you see, I don't know. 11 years is too long a time, time to want to 
no. talk them out of it, of it, to want to even tell them about the moral grounds. You see, you have to get to a point where you take her back to where it first started, mm. to disconnect it from her brain. You have to re-engineer her brain and bring it all the way back into the, you know, it, it's difficult. I don't know, I, I don't know whether I have the competency to actually talk and give a real solution to this. Mm. But I think that she needs serious professional counseling. Other than that, if the brother goes ahead to get married, she's gonna cause all manner mm. of problems in mm. the marriage. Mm. She herself, if she decides to move on with somebody, mm. is just to get back at the brother and that man is gonna be miserable for his whole life. Mm. So it's just gonna be a whole, mm. yeah, it's gonna be a whole, I'm looking for the word. Mm. That Nigerian politician was using plenty words. Give me one of the words. Mm -hmm. <laughs> to be a marital, what, quag, quag, my. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to look for a word yeah. for it, but I just think that this for me is too heavy. Yeah. Siblings, you wouldn't expect them to do that. Even if they try to explore small quickly, Go something in their out. heads will yeah. tell them that, hey, no, no, we well, I know how kissing feels like, okay, when you're touching someone, I know how it feels like, okay, now let's move on. But to have this a to this extent, and you are thinking years. of having a baby for him. Mm -hmm. Now, because you are blood brothers, that baby is not going to be a healthy baby to begin mm -hmm. with. There's science and statistics to show that when you have siblings, one of the same father and the same mother, mm -hmm having kids, most likely those kids are born with a lot of issues. Mm. So to start with lady, don't even think about that to trap him. It's not on. And there's a reason why you haven't told your parents that the two of you are in a love relationship. Mm. Because innately you know that it is not right. Mm. However, I'm not gonna judge you because I don't know what circumstances really led to that happening. And the fact that you've done it for 11 years, you've normalized certain things, you've justified certain things, you've told yourself it's okay. But I know there's a place deep down in your heart that you know it's not okay. So if you'd open up to counseling, feel free to call us again, or you, after the show, so we can recommend a proper professional counselor for her to take her through the process of dealing and dissociating with from this mess. But it's honestly not a place you'd want to find yourself in. Mm -hmm. Not in the long run, not at all. Alicia. Mm -hmm. I thought about this. <sighs> It might sound strange, but I'm usually not the first person to say this could be spiritual. Mm. <laughs> but for some strange reason, I'm going to say that because it doesn't seem normal to me. This is not normal. Like, I just, I just, I just can't think of, I, I can't imagine sleeping in the same bed with my sibling. Like, uh, having my, sex. Having sex. For goodness sake, like. Who will make you for do that? 11 years. 11 good years. To the, and you, f you feel even entitled to him being yours. Yeah. And even after he's trying to break away from whatever this is, you feel like, no, it's not right for him to go away because he broke my virginity. Like, girl, I'm not judging you, but it's an unthinkable like, situation. I, I can't imagine it happening, but it is happening. So the only explanation I can give is, it might be spiritual. Mm. There, might, there might be more to it. So to add on to what Rosie says, beyond getting professional advice, I think you need to review your relationship with God, your spiritual life. It might be with God, it might be with Allah, it might be with whatever you believe in, but I don't think any religion Will support this. Will support this. So whatever <laughs> you believe in, you need to start reviewing the kind of relationship you have mm. with your spiritual like father or superior and pray for help. Like mm. you really do need to pray for help. Mm. Beyond getting physical help, you need to have a mental renewing. And I believe praying or seeking spiritual support will help. Like it will help because Everything about this is wrong. Mm. Everything, there's, there's nothing good about it. And you're going to get pregnant. Like, as Rosie said, scientifically, it's not going to work. You are going to bring kids into this world who are going to suffer. Like, your parents. Do you yeah. love your parents? How are they going to feel about this? Like, eventually, when you get pregnant, they will get to know about it. And I'm sure you know how they feel. That's why you are hiding it from them. So that, that is just a clear indication that this is wrong. 
on all grounds. Mm. Like, I can't sit here to pretend that I'm going, like, there's no way to sugarcoat this. There's no way to, Rosie, I don't think we should judge her, like, mm. This one, they will judge. <laughs> I will be the black sheep on the panel and judge her. Lady, it's wrong. It's for both of you. And I'm happy the guy is realizing it and trying to get away from but it. What, no, I'm not even happy. You, the guy, if you know that you can't do it for her, why take advantage of your younger sister for yeah. all these years? Rosie. Please. Let me, well, I, he was I, the instigator. I, yes, and I don't feel like judging anybody, but I will not excuse the guy, mm. even after 11 years. Mm. I'm just saying at least at this point he's trying to get but away from it. After he has milked the cow, he has milked the cow for eleven no, no, years. Ladies, at a point someone has to walk away. Eleven so years was too walking, long. But Rosie, he's walking away. This lady isn't ready is to late. walk away. Like, let's look at the positive aspect. Like the pos the positive bit here. At least he is walking away. Okay. And he was clear that this isn't right, mm -hmm. and it can't go on for long. Okay. Do you get me? Yeah. At least there's a breaking point here. But what about the lady? Mm. It's time for you to like wake up, sis. Whatever it is, it's time to pinch yourself to wake up from this nightmare. Mm. Cause it's bad. It's crazy. Like you know, sometimes we we try to make things sound better. Oh, I'm not judging you. Nah, yeah, girl, we are judging you. It's bad. You need to get away from this. It's terrible. It's horrible. It's not acceptable. AJ, I can't say more yeah, about this because yeah. I'm disgusted. I'm itching. I want to get out of this outfit because <laughs> I, I, I can't Your imagine my kids. <laughs> I can't imagine my siblings. I can't imagine my queen. I, if, I won't even wish for this for my worst enemy. Mm. Not to say I have one, but no, yeah. it's, not, it's not the best. I, I don't know. But o Olivia's face Olivia's is face, yeah. I'll, I'll let Olivia. Olivia come in. But I feel like somebody just poured cold water on me. Mm. And like... I'm trying so hard to, like, comprehend, like, I hear Rosie, mm -hmm. I hear, like, I'm, you know, to her, it's normal. Mm -hmm. oh. That's all oh, she's known. That's she's normalized oh, it. She's yeah. known. And her brother has been her world. Mm -hmm. Her brother broke her virginity, sweet me, sweet you. Mm -hmm. One thing led to the other. And, you know... He played on her psychologically. She decided we were dating. And for me, the fact that she categorically states that she and her brother were dating, mm -hmm. well, it's like yes. she's admitted that it's a, a normal relationship. relationship. Yeah. Yeah. She is making it grow. She's investing her time, yeah. her energy, everything into this relationship. You know, and it makes, it makes so much sense to me that her brother now wants to just up, get up and leave mm -hmm. because men can decide just to have sex. Mm -hmm. But for a woman to be intimate with you, yeah. um, it's, it's, you have people who, okay, it's a decision. But at the end of the day, you also have a large number of women, and I do stand to be corrected, that before they decide to be intimate mm -hmm. with you, they do it willingly yeah. and from a place of they thought about it yeah. i care yes. affection affection, yeah. affection or the desire to be with be you with to you. be no with sense. you in this is sense. me yeah. i'm giving you my best i'm giving you my all because you are my brother and i trust you you know so it's it's the sad truth is that it's not real Honey bunny is not real. Like, you need to wake up. Oh. Wake up, wake up, snap out of it. You cannot marry your brother. It will not work. He's ready to move on. It was just sex for him. You know, you might think he loved you, but he doesn't. He didn't. And making a decision to have a baby, you... Listen, even with normal relationships, you cannot tra trap a man with a baby. baby. Don't think that having a baby for your brother makes it easier or makes him, like, will trap him. It won't do anything. All it's going to do is complicate your life. Mm -hmm. I don't know the implications after you decide to have preg after you decide to get pregnant, the toll on your body, mentally, emotionally. Like, honey bunny, listen, Rosie was spot on. You need counseling. You need therapy. Mm -hmm. And there are good therapists out there who would take you back. Yeah. 
-hmm. you know, to where it all started mm -hmm. and help re-engineer, rewire your thoughts, help you understand the processes that you went through, why you were thinking the way you were thinking, why you were feeling the way you were feeling and help you understand it. But I like to balance thing, things all the time because mm -hmm. there's one pa Bible passage that said, when the lepers went to Jesus for healing, mm -hmm. Jesus was categorical. He was very emphatic with them. He said to them, go and to the hospital and do or go get checked mm. to make sure you are okay. If Jesus, right, who healed them, asked them to do that, to get validation from natural sciences, mm -hmm. said that, that's why he gave us the wisdom and he blessed us with the ability to come up with medicine, the ability for doctors and all of that. That's why when people get healing in church, our pastors, the authentic, genuine ones, not the Sankwas ones, the, will ask, ask you, to go, go to, to the, the hospital, hospital and come back with the results. Mm -hmm. this was, these were the immediate ones, and uh, this was the previous ones, and this is the immediate yeah. one. I believe in balance. While you're doing what you need to do regarding therapy, mm -hmm. pray on it. Yeah. And it's at this point, it's more than critical that you find somebody that you trust. Oh. Because you see, I'm sick and tired of church people judging on people, oh. church people taking people's stories. Hey, Asimisi's children was, were sleeping with each mm -hmm. other. And you know what? This is the time that mommy and daddy need to come in. And please yeah. know that mommy and daddy, they are not going to be easy on you. No. You are going to shock them. Mm -hmm. But you need mommy and daddy's support because mommy and daddy would have to be there for you. It's a family thing. Mm -hmm. And I don't want it to be kept as a family secret. And I'm, because I'm also mm -hmm. sick and tired of families who go through abuse and they sweep it under the carpet. Yes. If mommy and daddy feel like, oh, man, boss, don't mention it, don't... Listen, it's about you and you need to be selfish about your sanity, your future. Where are you going to in life? Well, Rosina raised a very important point. How do you tell your partner to be that your... You, you broke your virginity, your brother broke your virginity. How? how? Maybe you don't even necessarily have to tell him that, but... The, how do you live with yourself? How do you and live? And when you kids, how, how do you tell them their father How do well? you live with Uncle yourself? Is daddy. <laughs> daddy Uncle is, is Uncle. daddy. Like, it's wrong in every sense. So, you see, the reason why we're all emotional about this is that you think you are doing the right thing, but it's wrong. Yeah, it's wrong. It's wrong. And... I, I baffle and it, it, it scares me as parents what we don't pay attention mm -hmm. to. Yes. You know, for your children, for you to leave your children alone, 16 and young like that, thinking that, you know, like for how long have you been leaving them alone? And yeah. did you have sex um, conversations with them? What yeah. is a good touch? What is a bad touch? Yeah. Rather, um, you don't touch your sister like this. You don't kiss your sister like that. You don't kiss your sister. You know, it's okay to hug um, your sister the way mommy hugs, yeah. hugs um, her. It's okay. What is a good touch? What is a bad touch? Don't touch your sister's bum. Don't be too close up in her face. All of that is normal because you're growing up and your hormones are raging. So parents, we really, really, really need to be there. And it's very worrying yeah. that the parents didn't pick on it. Yeah. You know, it's very sad. At but 17 I, and 15, how hey, would they even think that they would? How would, would they think? See, yes. if, if you have six and four, yes. you can feel like maybe they don't even know what's going on. You leave the 12, then maybe they'll do some mom and papa. Yeah. At 17 Teen. and 15, at least they have studied a bit of biology right. in school. They have. Yeah. You see, they, they have, are still young technically, like in terms of adults, mm -hmm. you know, the age being 18 or 21. Yeah. But at least they know right from wrong. They know right from and wrong. And they hate it. For me, that and that they that was it up because they could have like you see the signs. For me, I have a well, problem you with the well, you see you, really see the signs? you see oh, you, no, you, no, no, you, no, no, you, no, no, no. You, you know what? I think that you see, parents sometimes. I think there was a dispensation where parents felt like they needed to provide too much for their kids. Mm. So there's a dispensation where a lot of parents are all about working and rigging the money, yes. taking yeah, them to the best of schools, is, providing them with the best of things, laptops, phones, get them to travel consistently and all of that. So a lot of parents have missed out yeah. on raising their children. Okay. Most children were raised, if they're lucky, by one right. parent. Yeah. If they're lucky, by one parent. Most of them by nannies. Mm -hmm. 
we have a lot of children who relate more with nannies, with their nannies, than and with the their television parents. television and TV, TV series. At least in her time, that, um, that's, okay, well, yeah, maybe, yeah. yeah. TV series. And TV, TV series is the best babysitter like right now. Novelist. And some of these nannies, trust me, their parents will be home and they'll watch, quote unquote, correct series and correct movies and, and correct. But the nannies, the kind of movies they watch, they it's yeah, not about, for the kids. yeah, it's probably not even appropriate for the kids. So I'm just saying that, look, Parents, you need to play a part in the, up, in the growth of your children. You need to be able to have a fine balance. Your children should be able to come to you and tell you what is going on. You should have a system where two days doesn't go by without you seeing your children, mm -hmm. talking to them, asking them how their day has been. What did you do? What did you not do? So you pick up on some of these things. That's the only way to pick on it if something goes wrong or something is out of the norm. So for instance, if they, look, even a normal man and a normal woman, if you have a child, as soon as they start getting intimate with a man mm -hmm. or vice versa, as a parent, if you are close to your children, yeah. you can tell. You can tell. They get more self-conscious. Yeah. All of a sudden, they get... looking in the mirror more. They look in the mirror more. They're they are trying alone. to do some white lies to do certain things. Yeah. yeah. You know, they they're just... Yeah. They are starting to, like, you just know it. Mm. That, oh, something is happening somewhere. You can hazard a guess, mm -hmm. and then you can get into that conversation yeah. if you and the kids have that rapport. Mm. I think this situation, yeah, let me tell you something. Basically, it's poor parenting, period. period. If their parents had parented the kid, I know that there are some kids that look, no matter what you do, no matter how, yeah. how you've gone by the book and everything, they still turn out how they're going to turn out anyway. But I think that, look, for them to hide it for 11 years, Not, never get and caught. their parents never got a hint, they never knew about it, they're rather putting pressure on them that, look, you know, you guys are grown, it's now time. To, I mean, if they were not grown enough for their business, like they wouldn't have even known. Yeah. So it means that they are living somewhere for them. They are all about business, you know, making the wealth onto the next generation and all of that. They've missed out on the growth of their children's lives. Mm. They don't know their children. Wow. You understand? So I think that this is purely on the parents' lap. And I have a feeling that even if, look, to break it to their parents, they will need that counselor because the parents were in denial. Look, how is it possible? Yeah. We gave you the best yeah. of education. We gave you the best of this. You know, so the whole time, they're not going to be in shock and trying to put blame on the children's feet. But the reality of the fact is that they also have part to play. Mm -hmm. You see, kids say sometimes it's not about what you tell them. It's about what you show them. Yeah. It's not about how you wish they will grow. It's about how you nurture them to grow. Mm. It's not about what you want them to see. It's about how you direct them to see what you want them to see. Mm. And it's not about them always come to tell you. It's about you paying attention enough to pick on certain things. Mm. Yes, you can never get it perfect because every human being is an individual. But I think that as parents, sometimes we are too focused on work, making money, getting them to the best schools, best gadgets, best this, best this, best this, and we lose sight of the basic elements of parenting, mm -hmm. getting to know your kids, guiding them in the way you want them to grow, mm -hmm. such that when they grow, they don't become a burden on you. Mm -hmm. When you train them well, they grow up and they become a pleasure. They become a blessing unto you. You see them and you're happy. Mm -hmm. Even if God, look, or if you have to die, mm -hmm. You know that your children have been equipped with the necessary tools to survive in the world. Mm. You understand? But I think that this primarily is a parenting issue. Followed by the fact that the two of them too, like Felicia, if it's spiritual, are fine. Yeah. But at the end of it all, this lady needs help. Yeah. The but, whole family but, needs help. But, but you it, see... Ten okay, ten seconds. Seconds. But, but you see, um, you need to start from a point whereby you know that psychologically you're wrong and you need to admit that what is happening is wrong if you don't admit there's no way you would be able to accept help and once you're ready to admit that there's something wrong everything is messed up in your life psychologically first thing i need you to do if you don't trust I, if you're well to do and you don't trust therapists here in ghana what you can do is there's so many if online. you're well to do there are so many online you can actually get immediate online help mm -hmm. and if they recommend or you do a bit of background you'll find some really good ones here in ghana mm -hmm. now get them sit with your parents and get your brother involved and let everybody be on the on the know because mommy and daddy also need therapy yep yeah. 
the entire family need therapy and all of you need to start from somewhere and please one thing that always works i don't know what you believe in um this is this is my gentle i'm not forcing you plea is that sometimes when you use your strengths and you're doing everything because sex is not just sex what just happened uh -huh. is, is, is it's beyond you you can try so hard to get yourself out but you need god you really really need god's yeah. help go on your knees have a personal relationship with god and ask god to please help you and he will come through for you 